This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Star Wars The Black Series Clone Trooper Holiday Edition. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in that standard Holiday Edition window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see a short write-up for the Holiday Clone. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, so let's check out this Clone Trooper Holiday Edition. Now I've already reviewed a couple of these before, uh, but man, I absolutely love them. I think they're so much fun and just so creative and again, just fun toys. And again, I know these aren't for everyone, but they are for people like me who just love cool wacky stuff like this. And these are totally going on my holiday Christmas display. And I love them so much. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, now this is the, I believe, phase, was it phase two? Uh, clone Trooper, which is cool. With that more, a little more modern helmet from like Attack of the Clones and things like that. Uh, done in the red and the green, really nice. Uh, but then we have like a dark green for the visor, which I think looks really cool. So I love that, man. I love the way this actually came out. The green shoulder pauldrons with the red and the black. Or red and the green, excuse me, mixed into all throughout. And you got this like darker red underneath, like the bodysuit looks really cool. Uh, and then on the bottom, we have like the uh, green and white striped stockings or like leggings or socks, you know what I mean? So I think it looks great. But man, the main thing is going to be the fact that they designed his armor, his chest armor here, to look like an ugly Christmas sweater. That is incredible. That is amazing. I love that so much. How they designed it to make it look like it's actual like stitching work, you know what I mean, like knitted. I think it's really cool. You got the Death Star right there, some TIE fighters, uh, like it looks like maybe some mountains and some maybe some trees and some like snowflakes. I think that is so cool. What a fun looking toy. Uh, I cannot wait to have this whole lineup and I'm really hoping they do more of these like next year. Uh, just maybe different troopers or different uh, Star Wars characters. I would love to see like maybe a Christmas Vader. I think that would be really rad. Uh, but yeah, man, I... <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. It's so fun for me. I, I really dig it. Okay, so let's talk accessories here. Uh, he doesn't come with a whole lot. What we do get is his little uh, candy cane hockey stick weapon thing going on here. That's not a hockey stick, but you know, that's <laughs> I'm not sure what it is actually. I don't even remember what character this came with. Um, let me know in the comments if, if what, what figure this is originally from. Is it from another trooper? I honestly don't remember. Uh, maybe a bounty hunter? I, I honestly have no clue off the top of my head. So uh, clearly I don't have the figure this originally came with. But again, it looks almost like a hockey stick or a candy cane. Decoed in the red and white stripes. Looks really good. Uh, he can hold it in either hand. Uh, what I've been doing, me personally, I've been getting into like two-handed poses. So where he can like grip it in the one hand. Maybe something like that. And then get the bottom into a handle like so so he can kind of like do some two-handed poses like that so i mean do whatever you want with it it's an interesting looking accessory but i like it uh we also do get this little bad fella right here we get a little christmas porg there we go nice little shot right there which is really funny uh i don't have any porgs in my collection but now i do uh, the big blue eyes you can see that they just painted a little scarf around the character that because it still has the fur all over but i think that's funny i think it's really cool how they did stuff like this and, and this is the kind of stuff again what is why i just think these are awesome they're fun they're not meant to be serious and you know meant to take the place fight side by side by your other clone troopers and things like that they're just meant to be fun holiday displays and that's exactly what i'm gonna use these for i think they're really really cool okay so now let's run down his articulation uh the head just seems to be left and right uh, it kind of feels like it's on a ball peg. It kind of goes up and down a little bit. It doesn't really wobble side to side. So you're mostly just going to get left and right. Arms can go full 360 up like this. Up and out to the side about that far. The shoulder pad kind of goes over that. Rotation of the bicep. We got double double jointed elbows that only goes past 90. So that's not good. Uh, I don't have the first version of this clone trooper. Um, so I'm not sure what the buck is, if it's similar or if it's different, I really don't know. So feel free to let me know if you know. Uh, swivel at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist, so that's nice. 
We got a ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls around like so. Does turn left and right, pivots at the side, and crunches back and forth a bit. We got hip joints that kick up and forward that far back about that much a uh, rotation in that upper thigh we got double double jointed knees that bend that far so that's actually better than the elbow uh angles go up down rock side to side so that's pretty good decent uh joints at the ankles there so overall i think this is cool uh it's it's not the greatest trooper you're gonna get but it's different it's fun it's unique uh and again i i just want this for a really cool christmas display uh because that's exactly what i'm doing this year uh and again i'll try and take pictures of the, all that display later uh towards the end of these videos that i'm doing right now with all these you know holiday star wars figures that are coming out so i think it's really cool but come on man he's it's a clone trooper rocking a sweater vest armor with a little holiday porg that's cool i don't care who you are that's really cool so for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the Black Series Holiday Range Trooper and Sith Trooper. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Holiday Clone Trooper. Now overall, I think this might be my favorite one of these holiday troopers so far. The colors just stand out and they are gorgeous. I absolutely love the deco through and through. That candy cane weapon is fantastic. And man, that chest armor with that kind of Christmas ugly sweater kind of thing going on. I really dig that detail. That is incredible. Throw in a holiday porg and you have one fun toy. And that's exactly why I love these. They are so much fun and make for a really cool Christmas display. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.